Either it is finished at long last, and all is lost, or you are an assassin of remarkable skill. No matter how I have prayed for this moment, I beg you, cut me down. Quiet me. Send me to Ashara. The desecrations I have wrought haunt me. They addle my reveries and tear at my soul. As long as Witch Knight Anira holds her grip on Khan Rain, we will be forced to do the Tuatha's bidding, and that means bringing harm to others in their name. And this... this I cannot do any longer. There is another, but I would ask it of no one. A fungus named Saragwev grows not far from here. With it I could create a potion that would let one pass through the magical barrier Anira hides behind. If someone were to rid us of her... I see your heart is set. Bring me the Saragwev. It will be growing in a damp environment nearby. There are spells upon me that prevent it. I tried once before, but the Witch Knight caught me. I have begged Farglen for his help many times, but he just laughs and spits at my feet. Soon I will walk again beneath the ashen sky. 
Like the swords and helms I wrought for them. We master makers are but weapons twisted in these maddened children's grasps. The blood of too many paints the lands red. At least I do not have to bear witness to this madness. I do not know what they want anymore. They and their unseen god. Fate smile upon you, mortal. Zorogweth? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, now that which is evil can be done away with. Now to the martyr and pestle with the Zorogweth. A dash of powder here, a drop of potion there. Here is the potion. Drink this, and you will be able to shut down Anira's magical barrier. Destroy her, mortal. End this. I feel safer already in this place. Knowing there is someone who can do what must be done. You have earned the trust of all three of us. Please, use this, and the things we have rewarded you with, to destroy the Witch Knight. Yes, you may use this workbench to craft some of your own, if you wish. As hard and cruel as the spear she wields, all here fear her foul moods. Not far from here. Large and obtrusive, it will be blocking your path. Can't miss it. Be safe, and cut her down swiftly. So long.
गॉड्स I can hardly comprehend this. 
It has been so long, so much time, wanting to die. Free as we are, all our resources are down here in these ruins. I think perhaps we will stay a while and see who it is we can really be. You must take this as a token of our gratitude. It is from all of us, we three. You have made this place more of a home than the prison it once felt like. We will stay here in this, our new home, and do what it is we do best. Please, come see us down here when you have need of our services. How the darkness has been lifted from my mind with the defeat of Anira. I can see more clearly than ever. I will be able to use my skills to heal now.
Drive these red eyed bastards into the ground. The House of Vengeance. We all know the stories of its great warriors, but never thought I'd fight against them. Magarth, if he tells you he's ready, then my people are as well. Of course. If you wish to proceed with caution, the scout on the ridge will know what we're up against. Careful. This is worse than I fear. to see you here. Ready? I am. But there hasn't been any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinio. Damn it all! I knew we couldn't trust her! I sent Ventrinio to keep an eye on her. He was sending me messages until recently. 
but there were fewer and fewer as we've gotten closer to Bale. We need to get through the House of Vengeance and kill the Kerr. And we'll have to do it without them. He's the closest thing Vengeance has to a leader anymore. A face so consumed with hatred that he's little more than a beast. If you're going to get into Bale, the Kerr has to die. No. Whatever Gadflow is doing in there, it's growing with every wasted minute. Even if Aelin didn't betray us, we don't have time to wait. Listen, you're more powerful than I ever was. If anyone can stop this, it's you. When you kill Kerr, go into Bale and stop Gadflow. If we get separated, we'll keep fighting to keep an escape route open for you. Now go! Stay on guard. Onwards! We're nearly there!
this is it. Oh, <laughs> 
Twice the hero I ever was, or could have been. Our forces can't keep going from here. We're stretched too thin, and we've lost too much. Sidon and I will hold the gate for you as long as we can. But Bale is nearly deserted. Head in, face Gadflow, end this. Good plan. I promise not to die if you don't. Just make sure you put a stop to Gadflow. Do that, and I predict our future involves sharing drinks and war stories around a cozy fire. Trust me, I'm a fate weaver. Each of these two Arthur was a warrior of peerless loyalty. Their stories should not have ended this way. I got an idle clean up here. We're hunting and bait. Gadflow is weakened. His armies are broken. This is your chance. That damned backstabber never showed up to help us. I knew she was trouble. She was probably a plant from Gadflow all along. You find Gadflow, and you'll find her at his side. Mark my words. Child, you're ten times the hero I've ever been, and I can't wait to see what you become. But this old body just can't take any more right now. Get going. I'll be all right. Once, each of these two Arthur was a warrior of peerless loyalty. Their stories should not have ended this way. I've just seen the death of an entire house of my brethren. My land is dying, and the great cycle is broken. My people are no longer being reborn. I'm sorry, but neither I nor the rest of my kind can follow you into Bale. We couldn't bear to see what has become of it. I got an I will clean up here. Good hunting in vain.
Go.
What can I interest you with today, my liege? I've just received a delivery of wonderful gear from a crew of slavers, uh, uh shivers. So long! Astor, Connie, and Ariel. You have done splendid work, my liege, and I hope you appreciate what I have done to the castle in your absence. Farewell. My deepest apologies for not being able to join the battle. Ventrinia was something of a hassle. He attacked me. It was only a matter of time before his greed got the better of him. The closer we got to Bale, the more obsessed he became with Tiernok, and with harnessing Tiernok's power, just like Gadflow did. That's why he had to be stopped, and why we need to talk about our mission. I wasn't sure I could trust you. You're not the same person you used to be. We're running out of time. I'll explain as we go. Lead on. I'm right behind you. The winter court was still as fallen snow as the jester danced and capered. Juggling knives and torches, he sang to his lords and ladies, but none smiled. Not an eyebrow raised as the snivelling jester imitated the king, not even when he took the crown from his head. Because this was the day that Gadflow murdered the winter court.
This was the day the Tuatha were born, and our people became a sacrifice for Tirnok. Fighting at your side, just like the old days, before you died. carry on a duty that has been fulfilled for centuries. We keep the world from being consumed by greed, by war, and by Tianok. The ancient beast must stay sealed away at any cost. The world must never realize the terrible power Tianok offers. Since the alabaster wall was young, the beautiful bone-white forest was a place of peace and meditation. No piercing birdsong nor heated word could find its way between the branches. Quiet thought prevailed until Gadflo shattered our land. The Tuatha's crimson axes chopped the forest for arrow shafts, and Tirnok's prismere spires rose up to consume what remained. Now our forest is shattered, and screams of warfare fill its bells. When Gadflo's army arose, we recognized Tianok's tainted influence. Only a force like her could warp eternal creatures like the Fae. So you came to infiltrate Alabastra, find Tianok, and seal her away forever. And you used Ventrinio to get in, under the guise of being his assistant.
If you couldn't stop Tiernok, she would use her pawns to fully escape her prison. And the world would be her new plaything. You had to try, even though the Fate Weavers said you were doomed. As always, the Fate Weavers were right. The greatest heroes of winter have always fallen from the Bale's Pale Boughs, from Pietra the Keen to Hulgan the Hungry. When the Tuatha claimed dominance over us, heroes arose to defend winter. Gadflo laughed at their challenge and called up Tiernok's wrath. In a second, our most loyal heroes were impaled by Prismir spires. Our heroes were gone, never to be reborn, and our people succumbed to Gadflo's madness. When I found you in Dalentarth, when I saw you had come back to life, I wasn't sure how much you remembered. I couldn't be certain you would keep our secrets. I considered killing you then and there. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. But then I saw what you had become. I saw the new powers you wielded. And I saw how useful you could be.
In happier times, the Winter Court would come here to bathe in the colours of the midnight gardens. Night violets and pale moonflowers blossomed on a field of bluest grass studded with frost. When stars aligned, the Aurora Borealis danced for the Queen herself. But now the Tuatha have crushed the gardens and planted only corpses. The fruit of their tortured garden is only blood red. And so, instead of an arcane age, Gadflow would have an endless winter. Not the winter of the Fae, but of Tiernok's making. Gadflow has seen the visions of annihilation, of a blissful void across the world. It is not the will of Own, but against nature. The ageless decay of our people has become a weapon against yours. You, the Deathbringer and Siegebreaker, the usurper of fate and twice born, must become the Godfather. <laughs> came here, you were destined to die. This time, your destiny is up to you. At long last, Gadflo has crushed the Winter Fay, and his Tuatha rules us utterly. No longer are we reborn into this world, unless his god Tirnok wills it so. This monster has crushed us, and our kind shall pass from this world. But our memories might yet last. When Gadflo is gone, and his god is left for another people to ravage, I may be freed from my tomb, and then I may share what dreams we made. It is the only immortality any of us may hope for now. <laughs> We have a chance to finally complete our mission. Let's put an end to Gadflow before his bargain frees Tiernok on the world. This must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are. 
and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time. And last time it killed you. Oh, she's a creature with incredible power. A dragon. But she is no simple lizard in some child's tale. She has a power rivaled only by the gods. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Alpha sealed her in the Amethyn between this world and the world of magic. And there she went mad. As her prison weakened over time, she was able to tempt Gadflo into helping her gain enough power to break free. And if she escapes fully, it will mean the end of all mortal life. Tiernark's revenge for tens of thousands of years of imprisonment. That's why people like you and I have dedicated our lives to keeping Tiernark secret from the world. We were supposed to keep Tiernark hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernark away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you plan to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. Everyone who knows the truth of Tiernak will be dead, and Tiernak will be sealed away once again. We can return to our duty of keeping the knowledge secret, assuming that's the life you want to return to. But if you refuse, then I'd have to make sure you never tell the truth about Tiernak. Of course, I'd rather it didn't come to that. But you would have done the same. Ha! Huh. I have more important things to do than love. And so do you. But I do trust you with the fate of my world. It may not set your heart a flutter to hear it, but it'll have to do. Lead on. I'm right behind you. You don't understand, do you? The pa Yes! Return to your grave! Tiernoch, lend me your power! <laughs> And 
Where's Gad? If Gadflow isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely. The war's not over yet. Whatever bargain Gadflow made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. When that happens, the world will not be spared her wrath. In the heart of Alabastra is the former Unseelie city of Baal. Beneath the Winter King's court, there is the Cave of Amethyn. It's a place of tremendous power. It is where Turnok is imprisoned, and where you died. Somehow Gadflo found a way to reach out to Tiernok. Or perhaps she was able to seek out his twisted mind. She offered him power, and with it, he began the Tuatha. No wonder Gadflo thinks she's a god. Somehow Gadflo found a way to reach out to Tiernok. She offered him power, and with it, we were two of the people who were supposed to keep Tiernok hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernok away once more, even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you plan to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. Then Trinia was right. Tiernok is no god. She has almost as much power, and is every bit as dangerous to the world as any dark god. Her powers raised Gadfra from a jester to a warlord, and in return, his army would usher in a chance for her to enter this world and consume it. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflo's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. Let's go. Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. I feel you here again, full of life, full of fate. What have you brought? Tiernok's eyes upon us. You've used your power well. So much potential. Let's have a taste, shall we? stolen and turned it against you. Perhaps it is not inaccurate to think of her as a god. I 
have been imprisoned here since before your kind emerged from the dark. But now, my freedom draws near! We cannot let Gan flow free. Tell Nock. Listen, you're the only one who has the power to stop her. When you first came to me, death was your only face, but I was And you were so eager to play your role. to reseal Tirnok inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence from the world. Once Tirnok is pushed back into her prison, these caverns must be sealed. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tirnok's secret? There are things in this world that must remain hidden. If the power of the dragons were widely known, well... You've seen what has happened here. Gadflo tapped a fraction of her power. He upset the great cycle of the Fey and waged a genocidal war on the young races. Just coming in contact with her power managed to free you from fate's bonds. And if you can turn that freedom against her, she will have no power over Amalur. Nothing like you has ever existed before. As always, there's no way of knowing your future. If you're victorious, it may be the last time you change the fate of the world. Even if you fall back into fate's weave once her influence is gone from this world, it will be a far better fate than what Tiernok's emergence would bring. That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this. Anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go. Stop Tiernak from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Tiernak's power is immense. She just tore off a splinter of what you could have been and turned it against you. When she killed you, that much power must have torn you free of the entire tapestry of fate. 
nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernok. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. This way. There's no turning back now. yourself and seal the fate of your world. It's time to choose your fate. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernach. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. You alone may change what is to come. Go! Welcome back, mortal. How does it feel, I wonder, to return to this place? Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Comes. Tiernach the powerful, Tiernach the merciful, Kuala Fela Tiernach. Kuala Sera Tierna! Done well, lady. Are you pleased? Is it did I You have I, served your purpose. But I I have so much more to give. Ah! Freedom from the 
Ryan is mine.
Impossible. Impossible. How could we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shear.